A San Francisco man living in New Zealand was trying out his new digital camera underwater when he came across an apparently kleptomaniac octopus with an interest in photography. The sea creature grabbed the camera, which cost an arm and a leg, <laughs> and continued taping, as you can see. Joining us now exclusively from Wellington, New Zealand, is videographer and undersea explorer, Victor Wong. Good morning, Victor. <laughs> good morning, or I should say good night, because it's midnight for us here. <laughs> there you go. So you're scuba diving. You've got this spectacular new camera. What do you think it was about the camera that caught the interest of the octopus? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I think the camera itself is sort of bright blue and metallic, metallic and shiny, and mm -hmm. I think it just saw something a bit different and unique, and um, wanted to collect it for sort of its its little gypsy collection. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there you are. You're kind of looking in there with your camera, and then whoa! How freaked out were you? That's right. I was I was actually initially freaked out because. Um, I actually wasn't scuba diving, I was free diving. So oh, I was sort of three meters under the water on a breath hold. And um, just out of nowhere, the octopus dashes out of the seaweed and grabs a hold of me. Yeah. And uh, at first I was a bit worried for myself, but sort of just looked at my hands and um, noticed that the octopus was sort of prying my fingers open and grabbing hold of the camera. And yeah, sure enough, as soon as it got it, it sort of swam away really quickly. And I, I started uh, chasing after it. That is, that's nuts. That's so crazy. So did you go back up to the surface then and get air and then go back down again? That's right, yeah. So I was chasing it while I was on the surface uh, with my snorkel looking down below it as it was swimming away. Mm -hmm. And um, in the online video, you can't see it, but it's actually a five minute chase. I'm sort of swimming after it full speed for about five minutes. And then um, the octopus sort of slows down and I think it went from swimming away mode to stealth mode. Yeah. And it swims down into the rocks and tries to camouflage itself. And that's where I see my chance to go down towards it. Right. And um, yeah, try to lift it up with my spear gun. And it kind of attached itself. And uh, I, 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 I saw the camera underneath its body. So I reached in its mouth and grabbed it. Okay, you know the beak on an octopus can like crack open rocks. Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna put your hand in there yeah. and get this camera? Second thoughts? Yeah, well, you know, I, 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 figured, I figured that that camera must have had some amazing footage. <laughs> so I kind of took that risk and, uh, and just went for it. <laughs> the, cam the footage is amazing. It is very impressive to see. But if you had to, I, I here's the other question. How big is this thing? Uh, I'd, I'd say if I took it out of the water, it'd probably be uh, about sort of at my shoulder mm -hmm. level with its legs just touching the ground. Uh. So quite big. <laughs> yeah. And the and of course everything underwater looks a lot bigger with with a uh, with a mask like on. A mask so on. it it looked wow. pretty massive. Yeah. Very cool pictures. Yeah. Get what Dave Dave no, has. No, I a just question. wanted. To, why didn't you just call the police? <laughs> 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 oh, very good. All right. Hey, well, Victor. honestly, you know, you know, during the entire ordeal, with with the exception of the first three or four seconds, um, after that, I, f I honestly felt completely safe with yeah. the octopus. Oh, yeah. um, I through the whole ordeal, I felt that it only cared about the camera and it just wanted to hang out and have a play. And if I didn't have to get into work mm -hmm. um, at 9 a.m., uh, I, I would have stayed out with it for hours yeah. just and, to sort of hang out with it. And they yeah, email it email just address. seemed like it just <laughs> wanted to hang out. Uh, yeah. pals now. All right, Victor, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> Very cool pictures, pal. Thank you very much for sharing them with us. Really appreciate it. That's all right. Matt. Reading about this, octopus like to collect things and take mm -hmm. them back to their lair. It's very interesting. That's probably just what it was doing. Well, yeah. it probably wanted to take some family photographs for itself. Yeah. <laughs> the latest technology, bring it back home. And right. the camera costs 700 bucks. I mean, it's not easy to let go. I know your life is worth more, but true. I could kind I of think understand. I might go after These it as well, right? Beak. At least the, try. I'd be gone. Gone. They, gone. they have really a beak. Forget right. about the a camera. Beak. <laughs> Inside all of that stuff is just <laughs> <laughs> very yeah, but you nasty don't think about until afterwards. <laughs> At the moment, you're just like, just give me my camera uh. back. <laughs> A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.